Hi, I'm Ulrich Fickel. I'm a professor in the chemistry department of the University of Toronto, and I'm really excited to be able to tell you a little bit about what my group is doing in the field of molecular nanodiamonds, where we are branching out into the application of quantum sensing. Some of the most promising quantum sensors are based on diamond, a specific color centers called NV centers. The V stands for vacancy in the lattice, and the N for an adjacent nitrogen atom replacing a carbon atom. The nitrogen atom is shown in blue here. The electronic structure is very unique, a persistent anti-aromatic system that is paramagnetic. It has a spin of one and the additional very useful property that the different MS states are no longer degenerate. Switching between MS states can be done with microwaves in a way that is exceptionally sensitive to magnetic fields. And reading of the state is done through the fluorescence intensity of the color center. There are many applications of NV centers in macroscopic diamond, but the future for a lot of new applications will lie in making the diamonds as small as possible, nano diamonds, for example as quantum sensors within living cells. While diamonds can be made in high purity, high purity nano diamonds are very hard to come by. But I have an idea and I'd like to share this here as an example of what my group is interested in. If you make the diamonds very small, the nanodiamonds will be molecular nanodiamonds, known as diamondoids. And these are amenable to chemical synthesis. The synthesis is difficult but within reach. And the product will be monodispersed nanodiamonds, one nanostructure absolutely identical to the next one. My group is working with diamondoids and we are performing challenging synthesis. We are the leaders in the field of metal bound diamondoids. For example, the molecule shown here is a bismuth bromide with two nanodiamonds attached to it. One of our synthesis goals is shown here, the smallest possible diamond NV center, a molecule which we think we can make. Just before I conclude, I would like to mention that we are interested in other quantum systems as well, such as molecular rotors, where we are working on essentially barrier-free rotors in a crystalline material. My group is looking for collaborators who can benefit from a strong synthesis group. Thanks for watching. Let me know where my group's expertise can help you. Bye-bye.